Welcome to the Biblical Studies 10-week course in church history. My name is Chuck Fry and I am excited to be your instructor for this course. I want to tell you a little bit about my background. My wife Lisa and our daughter Heidi and I, we live in Ona, West Virginia, which is a very, very small uh, town near Huntington, West Virginia. And I've been on staff with the Navigators since the year 2000 and I've been in discipleship ministry since 1989. Currently, I serve with the NAV Encore group, and I feel very honored to be a part of this group. My passion for ministry is to love and disciple godly men who be raised up and would raise up future generations, that they may grow in reverence for God and live a life of nobility, Christ-like character, grounded in the gospel and the grace of God. Over the years, with the Navigators, I have served at the University of Oklahoma, where I worked with students from mainland China, with Jim and Jerry White, tremendous people. And uh, I've also worked at Marshall University's campus, which at that time, our ministry was called Students for Christ. And we did a lot of discipleship with students at Marshall. It was just a great time. And then now, as I said, I've been in West Virginia, and our ministry there, we do a lot of community ministry. We, I actually disciple a lot of uh, pastors who've come to me and said, would you help me to grow and help me to influence others for Christ? Well, over the years, I've also had the honor of serving as a short-term missionary to the country of Columbia, which I love, and British Columbia, which is the province, the western province of Canada, and there I worked with Native Americans. I've also been in Russia, and I was in St. Petersburg with the Navigators, and, and then I was in Papua New Guinea, which is another country I dearly love. We were with the tribal people up in the highlands, and I was with a group called New Tribes Mission when I did that. While I was a freshman at Marshall, I placed my trust in Christ as my Savior, and I grew in my faith through the ministry of Campus Crusade, or crew, as they say now. And at Marshall, I was first introduced to the Navigators. After graduating in 1984, I went to Moody Bible Institute to study missions, and I graduated from there in 1988. And while I was a student at Moody, I had to take a class in church history, and I was very angry about that, because I thought, I hate history, and I hate Church history just sounds really stuffy to me. <laughs> so I went my first day of class, and after five minutes, I was hooked. My professor was Dr. Greg Quiggle. He really instilled in me a love for Christ's work in, in his church throughout the centuries. This is something that I love doing, and I feel like God is leading me and guiding me to be a lifelong student and teacher of church history, but especially the Reformation and to apply the Reformation story and theology to discipleship ministry. And I, I see a real need for that and a real benefit from that. And then finally, in 2017, I received an MA in theology from Concordia University, which is in Irvine, California. My time at Concordia was instrumental in helping me grow in clarity regarding how the Reformation affects one's walk with God and one's ministry. Along the way, I've, I've had the honor of writing two books that have been published. One was called A World Upside Down, Four Essays on the Life and Theology of Martin Luther. And, and our beloved Navigator colleague, Jerry Bridges, he wrote the foreword to that. And of all the Navigator staff, he is the one who has most influenced my life. I really loved him and his message and his books, I'm of one heart with that and that is what I try to do. When I, when I minister to others. Another book I wrote was The Word of the Cross, Martin Luther's Heidelberg Disputation. And that book just talks about, uh, basically it's an exposition of 1 Corinthians 1, 18 through 31. And you can, you can read that and think about that later if you want. It's my hope that as we study God's glorious work in history, that we'll enjoy rich fellowship with one another and that we'll better understand who God is 
and what is the Christian message. My end game for us is that through studying church history, we will gain a clear and accurate understanding of, of history and of the church, with the result being the raising up of many godly and grounded and joyful lives, and I would add humble as well, <laughs> for the honor of Christ through our Navigator Ministries. One other thing I want to say, as you go through these um, 10 sessions, we start out kind of slow, but as we go along, you will see more and more how church history has a direct bearing on our, our lives and our ministries today. So if the first one or two seem a little slow to you, hang in there because the best is, is yet to come. Okay, uh, real quick, your assignments, you'll have course assignments each week and they'll be on your course link or they'll also be in your syllabus. And they will guide you to the webpage and we also have a notebook for you. And I'd encourage you to download that and print it out and write notes through the notebook. It'll help you go along.